So you guys know that game Black Ops 4, the one that's totally never going to have anything to do with a campaign mode at all. Well, as we all knew for the longest time, uh, yeah, that was a lie. But we really didn't know much about the canceled campaign mode. I mean, we heard a little things here and there, something about it being 2v2 and stuff like that. But we didn't really know much. Huh, but oh boy, did that change today because a guy on Reddit that went by the name Purple Toast 20 went and leaked a ton of stuff about how this was going to work. And I really mean a ton of stuff from gameplay to narrative. Like so many things were leaked today that it is insane. And the thing is, it makes it even crazier is that more stuff is coming soon on August 18th. As the guy who made this post says, is he going to release a video on his YouTube channel on August 18th? And because of all this, I will be linking both the original Reddit post and this guy's YouTube channel down in the description since this is his scoop, this is his thing. But as you can probably tell from the title of this video, we're actually not going to be talking about the career mode too much. And my reason for this is because I don't want to step on this guy's toes. This is his scoop. He deserves to make his video first. But one thing we will be talking about here today is kind of the things he mentioned on the side. And what that is, is of course, zombies. And yes, we do have further things revealed about zombies in Black Ops 4. And uh, there are some very, very interesting things. And in fact, we have two different things to talk about. One of those is how the cancellation of the career mode actually affected the actual zombies game mode, but also that nightmares, grief, and survival were a thing inside the career mode. Yes, those things were going to be in this canceled career mode. And I think we should start off talking about those. So how this would work is that you would select nightmares and from there you would have two different modes to choose from. One would be grief and the other would be survival. Now just first start off with grief, like how would this work? Well, how it would work is that you would spawn onto the career mode maps and these would be like really big maps, like really, really big maps. And uh, what would happen is that there would be two different teams and what those two different teams goals were, were to run through the map and complete as many objectives as fast as possible. And to get an idea of what these objectives would be is just think about Outbreak because what we actually learned in this Reddit post is that they actually reuse a lot of the ideas from this canceled nightmares grief mode into the outbreak mode in cold war zombies yeah outbreak has a lot of reuse stuff from the nightmares mode from black ops 4's nightmare mode like that is insane on its own so by thinking about outbreak gets you a pretty good idea of what you would be doing you do all the objectives that you think of during outbreak and whichever team completes their objectives first would be the team that ends up winning and of course, I imagine along the way, much like the actual career mode, that the two teams could somehow interact with each other and try to interfere and try to, you know, do something to mess up the other team or something like that. Don't know exactly how it would work because this was canceled so early on to development, but I imagine something similar to that would have happened. And to me, this just sounded something that was going to be fun, especially as someone who actually likes Outbreak. To kind of see like a versus Outbreak just kind of sounds interesting to me. It could have been fun. It could have been something I would like to play. But that's not the only mode that you could play in Nightmares. And also there's going to be a survival mode. And this one's a little bit interesting because uh, you continue to play on these humongous, I really want to stress humongous career mode maps. And what you would do is play six player, let me repeat, six player survival. Yeah, that is the amount of players that you would try to play on this. And we don't have much information leaked to us exactly how this would work, but it potentially could have just been round based on these giant maps. Maybe there would have been side Easter eggs, maybe even main Easter eggs. We really don't know how that would play out. But if I had to take a guess, and this is a guess, this isn't according to the leaks or anything like that, but considering they did reuse a lot of the stuff from the Nightmares Grief mode into Outbreak, like what if they just reuse stuff from the survival experience from nightmare survivals mode into onslaught in cold war like it would have made sense right like if they reuse stuff from one mode they would also reuse it from another one and because of that i just think it would probably make sense that how you'd play the survival mode would be similar to onslaught of course i'm just throwing out an idea there i don't know if it's true or not but overall i don't think it makes that big of a difference because i think we all know how survival zombies works and that's kind of the two ways you would play nightmares inside black ops 4's career mode and to me, this just kind of sucks that we never got to play this because what this sounds like to me is a better 
better grief mode from Black Ops 2 and a way better nightmares mode from Black Ops 3. Because I didn't really like those two modes inside the two previous games. And this just sounds way more fun to me. This sounds like something that's actually worth playing. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this would have been some groundbreaking stuff. Like if they did this, zombies would be the biggest thing ever or something like that. Like I'm not saying that at all. This would have just been some fun side content. And that's exactly what it is. It's literally a side mode of a side mode of a side mode at this point, guys. Like that's what it is. And I think that would have been fun to play. It would have been fun to play game modes like this. And I imagine as time went on, they could have further developed this game mode into being something even funner and funner and adding more different things to play this way. But unfortunately, we'll never see that because career mode got canceled. And speaking of career mode getting canceled, how did that actually affect the official zombies game mode? Not nightmares, but the actual zombies game mode. Well, before we even talk about this, we already know two major ways this affected it. One was the fact that since there was no career mode or campaign mode, the zombies team felt like they needed to release more content at launch for zombies. This of course led to a lot of things being rushed and the zombies team instead of making sure their gameplay mechanics were fun, they were focused on making maps and instead of making sure the game worked, they were focused on making maps, which wasn't uh, the greatest thing in the world for us zombies players. And the other thing that we kind of recently learned before this was also that factions, the things that never actually showed up in zombies, were actually never even meant for zombies. They were something they were trying to reuse from the career mode, but unfortunately they never did. And that's kind of what we got an idea of how that affected the development of the zombies game mode. But today we learned a little bit more and it's because of another feature that was going to originally be in the career mode that's when it got canceled they tried to repurpose into zombies and this one actually was there at launch and what it was was custom mutations yes custom mutations originally was never made for zombies it was meant for the career mode but once career mode got canceled they had to scramble to try to reuse anything they could and this is how they reuse custom mutations into zombies and oh my gosh this makes so much sense now like to me it just made so little sense why custom mutations just felt like so underutilized by treyarch like it felt like this was something that was a really cool idea and don't get me wrong i still think it's a cool idea but it just felt like treyarch just never used it or never really wanted to do anything with it it just felt like it was an afterthought and the reason that was the case is because it literally was an afterthought it was just them reusing some content that they made for a different game mode that got cancelled and it just makes so much sense now why they cared so little about it because they never wanted to be in zombies to begin with that wasn't what it was made for and oh my gosh it just makes so much sense now but I guess right there brings us to my final thoughts on everything we've talked about here today and uh, I hate to be all mad and sad about all this but to me what this just really exemplifies is something we've already known about Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 is the Call of Duty game of missed opportunity. Like there was so much hype behind this game and what it sounded like from the development that it was actually sounded like it had been something really unique and really fun to do but because of Activision coming and forcing Treyarch to stop doing what they were doing and go make a more traditional Call of Duty game, it just ruined everything. And that is just so frustrating to me. Like, why Activision? Like, why are you the way you are? Just let your teams try to do something new. Like, the first time any of your teams decide, hey, I want something more than campaign. I'm sick of just having the same linear campaign year after year after year. And once Treyarch decides to try something new with campaigns, you tell them, oh, it's boring and repetitive and to cancel it. Like, bro, that's actually what they told them, guys. They told Treyarch that the career mode was boring and repetitive. Have they not played a traditional campaign? Bro, if anything's boring and repetitive, it's a traditional Call of Duty campaign. How could you even think of that to criticism to tell them to stop working on it? Like, oh my gosh. And I don't know if you guys know this, but it's even worse when they told them to stop working on this. Like they were really far into development. They literally told them to scrap the career mode in the year of our Lord 2018. I don't know if you guys realize, but the year of our Lord 2018 is the same year that Black Ops 4 came out, which is insane that Activision did that to Treyarch. Like, holy hell, Activision, you suck. Like, oh my gosh, just, it gets me thinking like, all the great things that Treyarch could have gave us but didn't because of Activision. And it's really not just this game. They did it with Black Ops 3, they did it with Black Ops 4, and they've done it with Cold War. They keep doing it to them, and it's just so frustrating to hear this. And as much as it frustrates me of what we could have had in those three previous games, one thing it does give me hope for is that it seems like Treyarch is finally catching a break. And 
As much as it's annoying that's happened in the past, it seems like Treyarch is going to have four whole years to develop their next game. Their next game probably is not coming out until 2024. And because of that, we could potentially be in store for an insane year of Call of Duty in 2024. But that's as long as we continue crossing our fingers, Activision doesn't find a way to screw Treyarch over once more.